Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the recently released Raspberry Pi Imager software. So previously I've been using this Bellina Etcher software and you can see here on the left you select the image, you select the target and then you hit flash. So I'm going to download the Raspberry Pi version and we'll check it out. So I'm on raspberrypi.org, I'll click downloads and then it's the top of the page here it says Raspberry Pi Imager for Mac OS. I'm guessing this works the same for Windows and Ubuntu. So that's downloading it to my download folder. So I'll open that up. I'll open up Imager. I'll drag it to my Applications folder. I'll go to my Applications folder and I have it sorted by date modified and it's called Raspberry Pi Imager. I'll double click on that. I'll close my Applications. It's asking if I want to open it. I'll click Open. Close my browser. I'll close this screen. So here we have the interface. So this looks very similar to the Bellina Etcher interface. I'll click Choose OS, and it's giving us a number of different options here. It says Raspbian Desktop, Raspbian Other, Libra Elect, Miscellaneous Utility Images, Erase, and Use Custom. So I'm going to choose Raspbian Other, and then I'll choose Raspbian Lite, and now it says Choose SD Card, so I'll insert the SD card into my SD card slot, and I'll click Choose SD Card, and here we have the Apple SD Card Reader. I'll click that, so now I'm going to click right. It's going to ask for my password. And now it's downloading and writing the image to the disk. Okay, so that finished up. It says Raspbian Lite has been written to the Apple SD card reader media. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. I'll do that and I'll click continue. So this seemed to work fairly well. Let's take a look at my application folder. So one thing I've noticed is that the Raspberry Pi imager is 45 megabytes and the previous software I was using is 265 megabytes. So this is quite a bit smaller. So I may delete this in the future if I find out that the Raspberry Pi imager will meet all of my needs. So that's all for this video. I'll put a link in the description to my Raspberry Pi playlist if you want to see my other videos. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.